I'm here today with Dr. Pedro Barrio from the Institute of Toxicology in Madrid, Spain. In addition, Pedro is involved in the DNA SeqEx project within the European Union. Thank you for joining me today, Pedro. Can you tell me a little bit about the goals of the DNA SeqEx project? Well, uh, DNA SeqEx is an uh, European transnational project funded by the European Commission, um, one of whose main goals is uh, the cooperation of two MPS platforms undertaking a, a systematic validation uh, study. So it seeks uh, to, to reach uh, a full uh, standardization of STR by MPS, uh, both autosomal and, uh, S and YSTR. Um, uh, contributing to uh, their nomenclature. And finally, it uh, looks for uh, uh, a ways to the international exchange of MPS data, uh, obtaining um, a full comparison of uh, STO results obtained by uh, capillary electrophoresis and, uh, and uh, MPS uh, technologies. Well, uh, I think that the, the most interesting aspect of these uh, technologies is uh, the, the number of sample and the number of markers that is possible to analyze at the same time, but also the, the, no, uh, the, the number of sam uh, samples that is possible to analyze in the same chip, uh, obviously depending on the type of chip. But, uh, well, I think that the, the central aspect of this uh, technology is uh, the automation. Uh, I think it's uh, very important to its implementation uh, because uh, the new processes are very, very complex. So I think that this, uh, this kind of technology uh, uh, must be to be uh, more learned and uh, the automation, it will be a, a good way to, to resolve uh, this, uh, this, new this new situation. Finally, uh, with, res uh, with respect to the sequencing by uh, IONS5, well, uh, I only have to, to comment that it's, uh, it is, uh, it's very easy and it's very fast. Now, I know as part of the evaluation and looking at sequencing STRs, you actually also need to compare it back and do concordance studies with samples that you've done by capillary electrophoresis. So with the, the use of the Converge software, how did that help you do that? Well, uh, I think that the, the idea of uh, Converge is, uh, is really good too, uh, because uh, both technologies, capillary and electrophoresis and MPS technologies, are going to coexist in, in the time during uh, a lot of uh, several years. So uh, I think that is uh, very important uh, a complete uh, implementation between uh, between both. It's a uh, convert is a very interesting software too uh, because it provides a very visual graphics with histogram representing the, the number of uh, of reads of each allele uh, as well as the the sequence of uh, of each uh, allelic variant. Um, well. Uh, Definitely, is, I think that it is a very in intuitive uh, software. So, can you tell me a little bit too about how mixture analysis really plays into what you're doing with the, the SeqEx project? Yeah, well, I, I think that mixture is uh, one of the main challenges in, in the field of forensic genetic and in general in forensic uh, investigation. Well, uh, STR uh, is uh, the best tool, uh, is the best marker uh, in the analysis of uh, mixture. Uh, well, uh, now with the uh, MPS, uh, we are uh, able to distinguish different sequences uh, within the same uh, allele, as uh, we call uh, isolel or isometric uh, heterozygotes. And uh, this one, uh, is uh, permit us to increase our power of discrimi discrimination. So ultimately, Pedro, how do you see next generation sequencing, um, particularly of STRs and, and, and um, potentially other markers, really fitting into the forensics casework that you do? 
I have commented the the use of uh, well the the, the coexisting of both technologies uh, will allow the the use of uh, STRMPS as a complement in some uh, difficult cases, uh, for example, a mixture or when degradate samples uh, appear. Um, on the other hand, I I think that uh, these uh, these technologies, uh, well, we we are going to uh, a new a new future with uh, this technology uh, because of the, the emergence of uh, new ma uh, markers, uh, for example, uh, ancestry, phenotypic, or identity SNP. Well. Um, I think that the, the transition to MPS technology will be favored by, uh, by mitochondrial DNA sequencing, uh, where it is uh, more developed and uh, allows to uh, a high resolution, uh, for example, to, to resolve uh, heteroplasmic uh, regions. And, well, uh, well, I, I think that uh, in short, uh, uh, MPS uh, it would it will be a, a great uh, revolution, and well, and uh, an European survey recently published uh, it showed that uh, uh, seventy five percent of ANSI labs uh, pretend the the future uh, implementation of this technology uh, for its uh, forensic use. Pedro, thank you so much for sharing your thoughts with me today. It's certainly a very exciting time to be in forensic DNA analysis. And to learn more, please visit us at thermofisher.com slash HID.